Hey, what's up? It's Mike B with Bombero Bus out here at the barn. I've got the day off, so let's make a video and I'll introduce you to Jimi Hendrix, the 1965 VW Bug we found. Okay, so a quick rundown of what this video is about. Um, Jimi Hendrix, the 1965 VW Bug we have. We're trying to get a running motor for it out of about three non-running motors. So it's a bit of a Frankenstein piece, but uh, if we pull it off, we're gonna have an engine waiting in the wings for when we get to that point. Now, I've already said this won't be a showroom style restoration or rebuild. We drive these cars and we're trying to get this one back on the road so we can have some fun. So uh, let's get to it. But more specifically, let's talk about the engine that came with but not inside of that car. It never ran inside of that car. There's a six volt transmission in there. This is set up for 12 volt. This came in pieces. We put it together to see how it ran as a single port, single carb. So the clip you just saw of that engine running had these actual heads in it. And like I said, they're single port. And you know, I enjoyed that. I haven't had single port before. I was kind of looking forward to using that. You know, I wanted to find out for myself if they're more torquey and actually better for a daily driver. But like I said, the compression would never come up to viable numbers. So even if we changed the rings and did a valve job, we had to pull it apart and this is what we found. Even though the, this was the three and four side and it had pretty good compression, but there's a crack here in between the intake and exhaust valve. And looks like one might be starting to form on that side also. This side never worked with us at all. This was the one and two side that made it seem like the whole thing was missing but there's a crack starting to form there and you can see it's already making its way into the seat and of course the valve on this one was burned probably because of that and there's also a crack in the thread uh, where the spark plug goes so it was determined that those two heads just aren't gonna work Oh wait, I'm gonna practice porting on those. So the search for used heads began. And this is what we found. They weren't uh, this clean when we got them. They were, looked horrible, but, and they still need some more cleaning. But what happened is the only ones we could find that seemed to pass inspection was dual port. Not complaining, that's all I've known and I enjoyed them. Uh, the thing is, they were two different heads. If you can see the casting on this one with the half moons, it's also dual port, and the casting on this one, obviously they're not a pair that come together. And we've never done that before. Our heads have always been a pair, so we'll see how this goes. But what we've done is cleaned this one up. I didn't make a video on it because there's plenty out there, but we lapped these valves and see that little band around there and look how good the seat looks now that's a pretty seat so with that these jugs have never been mated to these heads so we kind of lapped them in there also there's videos on that so i'm feeling good about the mating surface from here to the jugs and the valves to the seat uh, let me show you something. Like I said, we don't buy anything new. <laughs> Very rarely. So this uh, dual carb setup looks good. good. The only issue with it was that 
these holes that mount the bracket were stripped. So we're doing the old, uh, tapping some new ones in there and hoping to have some luck with that. Should work out fine. Seems to be like a good fit. What's going on over here is about to just, uh, Got some little bit of lapping compound around there and I'm gonna work these in. Not enough to change any uh, measurements, so to speak, but just enough to make those two surfaces together in there, so. That's after the tap of those two bracket screws. You can see these come with a dowel pin in the middle to help hold it stable as well. And you know, that's pretty sturdy. Whoever owned it before probably caught heck with this side and in their struggles, they stripped those two, but that's fixed now. We've gone ahead and left another jug into another head. This last jug is being cleaned up right now so that we can lap it in here too. And all that will be done. We can't put anything together till we get the stud kit in for it because we pulled all these studs out and got some chromoly ones coming so yep every now and then we buy something new those chromoly stud kit would be an example of it so gonna get If you remember from the first video on this engine, I showed you it had the early style oil cooler that went inside the fan shroud. Well, we don't want that. We want to switch to the later model oil cooler that came in 71 and up. Much bigger, more efficient, but there's some things that had to be done to use this on this early model case. So one of the things we had to do is right here with the original oil cooler come with eight millimeter studs that fit through there. On the new one, they're 10 millimeter. 
on this adapter. So we had to drill those out to accept these 10 millimeter studs. The other issue is the original galley holes are eight millimeter. So of course we're not gonna drill those out, but they have special seals just for that. On this side is an eight millimeter hole. On this side is a 10 millimeter hole. I'm gonna pop those in there. You can tell they're the right ones because they fit nice and snug. Now you have an eight millimeter seal on that side and up here, the 10 millimeter will go into this oil cooler adapter. So it'll sit like this. The other thing to look at is over here. You'll notice we had to clearance this out because this stud is too short to pass through this flange. The reason is on the original one, look at how shallow that is. So this stud had no problem reaching up far enough to be grabbed with a nut. A little bit of clearancing there, and we're gonna be able to get a nut on that. We'll put some thread lock on it, and this should work just fine. And there you have an early model case that has been adapted for the later model oil cooler. the long awaited package. These are the chromoly head studs and a ring compressor. So we've got most of the other stuff done as you've seen. The rest, we can't move forward trying to get the compression numbers until we get uh, the heads back on. And since we switched to dual carb, uh, the single port head studs stuck out too long and got in the way of where the dual carb intake manifolds mounted. So these should do the trick. These shorter ones here. So see these shorter ones? These four? These two are going to be needed on each side where the intake manifolds mount for the dual carbs. So that's really all we needed, but they were hard to find individually. And we just decided to make sure that everything gets torqued down good. Whole new set as an order. All the hardware. So let's take a break and we'll get back to it and we'll start putting that top end together.
there it is that's that um for now anyway because it's never really over with these air cooled vw's now is it but it is the next day and uh i'm disheveled because we were up all night getting it put back together and getting it to start so we still need it's not very well tuned or tuned at all but that'll be the next video maybe anyway we're happy with the result because we now have a viable engine waiting in the wings for when Jimi Hendrix the 65 bug is ready to have one put in there still got other things to do on it but it's nice to know we have what appears to be a good engine on standby so uh, I'd like to give a thanks to Jim who provides us with uh, over 30 years of air-cooled knowledge and parts at very reasonable prices you have to remember this what this was what it is now. now and it's gone from single carb single port heads to dual carb with the linkage dual port heads the early style uh, oil cooler that was in the doghouse is, is now a doghouse style oil cooler with this exhaust offer very good price so thanks to Jim it keeps us dubbing and thanks to my brother who helps me uh, tremendously he's the other guy you've seen hanging out with me and thanks to you if you're still here watching so uh, if you like the video or it helped you feel free to subscribe if you hated it leave a comment and let me know what's up but either way thanks for hanging out with Bombero bus and we'll catch you on the next video.